pull up the chart and we're right here we're still blue as you see it's still blue in here and in fact it implies we could go higher than this price now we start getting the yellow bars so we may execute again a short trade right in here ideally we'd want to be yellow above this bar but that does not always occur now it's moving right into that bar and it's still yellow this thing is coming down okay it's definitely coming down okay and it went lower than the previous yellow line and continues to go lower now we've got right in here a little indication of a price point where we expect retracement back to So as we move forward here, we're going to draw our line at the top, but we're still short. We're looking to go below this line, and we do. And we do again. Now we're at this low in here. Let's check where we're at on the MACD. We've moved into a new low on the spoons we're at a higher low on the MACD and look where we are on the VIX this is poised to go long this is poising itself to go long there's strength here for a move up so we should be seeing blue at some point in time in here but where exactly do we want to go long again let's look at the tick chart and we're right in here okay this this particular line corresponds with that point right in here so we move down here that's where we were before and where do we want to go along well, we don't want to go along at the high here we want some sort of a pullback and then when we see it going blue like right in here all right it's moved up it's moved down again it went yellow it now went blue right here is where we want to go long 
that's our fill. Right in here, at around 14, 49, 25, or 50. Where are the spoons going to go? Notice these green lines. So that target got hit, and it's still blue. The market pulls back a bit, okay, gets into a low here that's yellow. We want to be concerned about that, because if we're long, this is implying that we could be coming back on to that price point before we go long again. So as we move up here, if we, if, if we pulled a, a trade, let's just say we got scared, we pulled a trade, we would be long again right in here. Okay, right after this dip, we'd want to be long again. Now we move up into this area, and you see at the top of this move, we're getting kind of yellow. Now let's look at where we're at on the MACD. Does that mean we want to be short? We're at some sort of a high here, and the MACD is moving down. It could mean that we want to take profits. Okay? But once again, as a point of interest, we don't know for sure how far down this is going to go. Okay, so this may indicate that we could pull a stop, or tighten our stop, that is to say, but there's your line. The line is being created right here. If this pulls back, if, if let's just say we shorted it, okay? Let's, let's just say we short this thing. Oops, let, me, let me pull the other chart back up. If we took a short trade right here, pulled profits, where would we be long? we'd have to be long again right in here. Now that's not much of a trade. But that's what it's telling us. It's saying that we may be coming back down here. In fact, we will. That's not a maybe. That's a will. There's your line. And now we move up. We, we break the line, we create a new one at the top here. Now, again, we'd be looking at the MACD to determine whether there's any, any reason to pull this straight or not, because notice we've got support or, pardon me, a price target a point higher. Now, if we had gone long here, you see, if we turn yellow, we'd have to pull that trade. 